pretty excited today, just heading into ARB Maroochydore. Um, they've given us this lone Ford Ranger to have a go of, but they've had the 200 series down here for a little bit, and Nick's done some pretty tricky stuff to it. You know, this trip's going to be a big one. It's going to be a test on the vehicle and the caravan. So I've given it to Nick. I've said, make sure she's spot on, mate. Pretty excited to see what they've done. Nick, how are you, mate? Good, mate. Yourself? Yeah, good. Good to see you. So we sort of ran through the trip while we're doing this east to west setup. Um, mate, you're a bit of an expert. You've been out there. So, you know, what do you recommend for something like the 200 to go and do a trip like this? Definitely essentials are good quality aftermarket heavy duty suspension. Yep. Um, preferably one with good warranty and good service around the country. Special touches with our suspensions. What we do is we add upper control arms. Basically, when you lift the vehicle, the front or your wheels end up coming inside. If you've got independent suspension, mm -hmm. um, you get the tire scrubbing that you had. It doesn't steer that great, it's not that safe. So we put um, aftermarket ADR compliant upper control arms, it allows us to give a wheel alignment, improves your camber, um, gets your car tracking nice and safe. Yeah, and looks after the rubber too. Definitely. Which is sort of what you're telling me, it's yeah. probably the yeah. most at risk here is the yeah. tyres on a yeah, trip like this? I'd say tyres and then suspension, yeah. Yeah, okay, and we've got the Coopers on there, so yeah. we should be in good shape. And then moving into frontal protection, the quality uh, bull bar, like the ARB deluxe bar that you have lighting for the morning and the night driving. The safari snorkel just to keep that air suction out of the dust. Communication, GME, Australian made, that sort of stuff. We always look at trying to get the quality things because you don't want it to fail. This one already had a, um, a tune and exhaust on it, but you guys do that as well, yes. just a bit more performance if you need it. Yeah, definitely. Um, it, I think it makes the day a bit easier as well because you know, you're not really pushing the car that hard. It makes overtaking much easier and the car a lot healthier. You can do the GVM upgrade as well? Yeah, okay. definitely, yeah. So ARB, we do um, pre-registration and post-registration um, GVM upgrades, yep. um, and our key point of difference is yeah, we don't use some that have larger GVM upgrades, but they exceed an axle limit, and then yeah, ARB engineers just won't do that. So keep them safe. Obviously, yep. towing limits are important, Definitely. and that sort of you know goes in hand with what we do at own and getting nice tear weights on the vans and having good payloads, but being able to tow with the tow vehicle safe as well. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we're pretty lucky, I suppose. You know, we, when we've got uh, companies like yours building such light vans, it makes it a bit easier for us with our customers. I'm really wrapped with what you guys have done with the truck. I guess we're going to get out there and we're going to see how it goes. So. Yeah, yeah, no, it's our pleasure, mate. Good luck. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Who knows? We might even join you. That right, sounds good, mate. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. Cheers.